So welcome back to the channel. Monica Louvre here at The Love Messages. So today we're going to be doing a reading for the month of July. Now this is going to be a general reading, so it may resonate with you, it may not. If it does resonate with you, there will be a link in the description box for the extended. So Scorpio, in this reading, I'm going to be taking a look at past, present, and future for you. I'm going to clarify the cards and pull some advice. Okay, so Scorpio, your challenge is the King of Wands. And what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck is the Four of Cups in reverse. Okay, so Scorpio, your biggest challenge here uh, moving forward into the month of July is the King of Wands. Now, this never happens. <laughs> I pulled four cards for your present moment energy, so... We're gonna take a look at that. That rarely happens, but I guess there's an important message for you to hear. Uh, so your challenge here has a lot to do with the King of Wands. I do feel like this is another person. I don't feel like this is you, okay? It could be a fire sign that you're dealing with, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. We're gonna clarify the King of Wands and get more information for you on that in a moment. Now, in the recent past, Scorpio, you have the Nine of Pentacles, the Four of Wands, and the Lovers. So it looks like in the recent past, there was definitely this relationship, okay? So you could have been in a relationship here in the recent past or involved with someone maybe you're living with someone here in the past I do feel there was a lot of chemistry between you and this person in the past but someone here and I don't know if this was you or your person uh someone here remained kind of single or or like disconnected here even though they still had you know a lot of love here in the recent past we're going to clarify this and get more information on it uh, that in a moment. Now, in the present moment, you have the world, the death, the three of pentacles, and the six of swords. So it looks like in the present moment, something here is coming to an end, okay? Someone here is disconnecting in the present moment. Something's closing out. One of the things that I've noticed actually for cancer, and the same thing is with you as well, you could even be dealing with a cancer. Again, fixed sign, maybe another Scorpio. I am getting a Leo here, a Taurus, and Aquarius, Okay, Scorpio is really strong. Another Scorpio here. Someone here is disconnecting. Okay, it's either done or it's over. It's finished. But you're not, it's like you and this person are not ending things in a negative way, which is good. Okay, and I advocate this all the time on the channel. You know, if you're ending things with someone or you're breaking up with someone or you're disconnecting, you want to make sure that you're disconnecting with that person in the right way. Because if you don't, Okay, if you don't, then you sabotage. You sabotage your future. You sabotage your opportunities. You sabotage all of these things. And you want to make sure that you're not at that point. Okay, so for many of you, something here is coming to an end. We're going to find out why it's coming to an end, why this person's disconnecting, and what the other important messages are here that you need to know about that. Okay, now in the near future, you have the Page of Pentacles, the Knight of Wands, and the Three of Cups. So in the near future, I do feel there's going to be a new opportunity that's coming into your life. I do feel like it's going to be with a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries. I do see for some of you, and it's not going to resonate with everyone, but for some of you, there is a reconciliation here in the near future. It could be with an earth sign. I'm getting a Taurus here. It could also be with a Cancer. I'm also getting a fire sign, Leo. Okay, maybe a Sagittarius for some of you. Uh, we're going to clarify and see. Now, what you don't see coming at the bottom of the deck, Scorpio, you have the Four of Cups in reverse. So there's something here, uh, Scorpio, about this person finally opening up to you, okay? Or you finally opening up to love, okay? You've been very closed off emotionally is what the cards are telling me. And it looks like that in July is gonna change, especially because the sun is gonna be entering your fellow water sign Cancer. So Cancer season is gonna be a very important season for you. Uh, so it's very important that you're hearing the important messages in, within this reading, okay? So let's get into your reading. Let's do some clarification. Okay, so let's clarify the King of Wands.
So the King of Wands is clarified by, you have the Knight of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. So your biggest challenge here has a lot to do with someone here that you are maybe, um, by the way, I just want to mention this, there's three people here. So there could be a third party situation that's at hand here. Someone here is choosing to disconnect and they're choosing to disconnect from this because there's another energy here, okay? Now, one of the things that I've been seeing for you, Scorpio, it's not the greatest energy that I've been seeing, but I'm not gonna sit up here and lie to you, okay? I'm not gonna sugarcoat. I'm not gonna sit here and stroke your back and you know make it sound like everything's great. I'm just gonna tell you the truth you know, in what I see in the reading. So your biggest challenge here is about a third party. Okay, so either you find out about a third party or a third party is present within your relationship. Somebody here is choosing to be on and off with two people. Okay, you're either aware of this or you're now becoming aware of this. And your biggest challenge here is to determine, okay, to determine if you're going to accept this or if you're not. That's your biggest challenge because some of you are dating someone who's dating someone else or maybe you're dating someone and you're also dating someone else, but this just does not function anymore. There's something here about this being a very big challenge, especially moving into the month of July because July is a new month. You know, um, if you have to kind of share somebody in between time, I don't know how you, you all do it, but that's what I'm seeing here. I'm seeing two different people and I'm seeing someone kind of bounce back and forth between two people. So either you're now aware of this or you're gonna become aware of it in July and it is gonna create some sort of challenge, okay? That's what I'm seeing here. All right. That's your biggest challenge. All right. Now, in the recent past, let's clarify the Four of Wands. So the Four of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Pentacles, the Page of wands and the nine of swords so even though you and this person in the past tried to have a new beginning and it really looked like there was going to be some sort of long-term commitment uh this person was constantly in anxiety with you constantly this air sign aquarius Libra, gemini uh about the relationship someone here was just constantly in this overthinking mentality of being involved with you maybe you were overthinking the connection here in the past tell me more about the nine of pentacles for scorpio in the past so the nine of pentacles is clarified by the four of wands, the fool and the king of swords. So in the recent past, I do feel again, the four, of, the four of wands is showing up again here. You tried to have a new beginning with this person on multiple occasions, even though someone here in the past was saying, look, I'd rather be single. I'd rather not be in a relationship, uh, you know, because of X, Y, and Z. Someone here made it be known, okay, that they didn't know if they wanted to be in this relationship with you. I feel like this was your person. And again, the reason why Scorpio is because someone here acted like they were single anyways. So what's the point of me being in a relationship with someone if they're just going to act like they're single anyways? That's what I'm seeing happened here in the past. Okay. Um, was there still love between you and this person? Absolutely. There was, but there was this constant, okay, let's start over. Let's start over. And every time you started over with this person, the same issue would crop up. Okay. So this is what I'm seeing happened here in the past. Now in the present moment, something here is done. It's over. It's ended. Okay. Breakup finished over. I'm moving on with my life. I don't care anymore. I'm moving on. So why did this situation come to an end? Why? Why has it been difficult here for you in the present moment? Tell me about the world. What's the important message for Scorpio in the present moment? I'm hearing now that this is over, dot, dot, dot. It's like something new is coming in. Okay, the world is clarified by the Five of Pentacles, the King of Cups, and the Hierophant. You know what I find really beautiful right now for you, Scorpio? Wow, this is so, I just felt the energy, okay? Again, goosebumps. Goosebumps are going like full time over here. Okay. I have a very important message for you. I'm going to tell you about this ending and why it happened. The reason why this ending happened was because right now, Scorpio, and you may not know this. Okay. You have so much love. You have so much love that you want to give. Okay. To someone 
you want to be with someone who's going to always be there with you. You want someone who is going to commit themselves. You want someone who's not going to constantly question you every time you do something. You want someone who's going to be very understanding, understanding and overstanding of who you are. And I think the reason why this connection in the present moment has either come to an end or is coming to an end is because you're not, you're not in the place where you feel like your love is being reciprocated or you may not feel like your love is really being um, taken seriously. Okay. So a lot of you right now are disconnecting from this person or disconnecting from this situation. And it's happening in a very cooperative manner. It's not, it, I don't see it being a negative breakup. I see it kind of being like, okay, I understand that this is what you're looking for. And I may not be able to give you that. Tell me more about the six of swords in the present moment for Scorpio. And one other thing I want to say, Scorpio, like, I don't get four cards usually that pop out in the center of readings. So this is a very important message for someone. Okay, especially moving into July. So the Six of Swords is clarified by the Lovers, the Moon, and the Nine of Wands. Someone here just felt like they couldn't express themselves. They couldn't really express how they really truly felt. And I'm also getting that there was a lot of chances given here. And I do see that in the past. It's like you were constantly trying to make something work. It's almost like it was being forced, okay, in a way. And a lot of you may only be realizing that now that this transition that's happening is one that's really going to lead you to what, you know, where you really need to be. I see you disconnecting from someone because you feel like when and if you decide to marry someone or commit to them, they need to be 100% there for you. No matter what's going on, you're looking for a rider die you're looking for somebody who's going to always be there for you okay so somebody here has had enough they've disconnected this is changing you it is changing the way you look at relationships how you look at dealing with other people so what's happening for you in the near future now in the near future it looks like there is a reconciliation I do see you being open to love like you're open to it in July you're like yeah bring it my way who wants to love me Scorpio <laughs> So let's clarify the Page of Pentacles. What is this new opportunity all about that's coming in for you? So the Page of Pentacles is clarified by the Emperor, the Queen of Swords, and the Princess of Pentacles. So what this is telling me in the near future is you're going to be attracting someone who's really serious about you. This person could be an air sign. Aquarius is really strong. Libra is really strong as well, too. For some of you, it could be a Taurus. I'm also getting uh, an Aries here. This person that's coming in at first, when you first meet them... Um, you know, I feel like you might question this person a little bit because they're not really offering much, but this can really lead to something really great for you. Okay. I do, I, you know, the opportunity in, you know, by the end of July for you is something Scorpio that you have to be able to identify on your own. It's not something that is going to pop out to you. It's like, it's there, but you kind of have to look for it. Okay, and that's what I'm seeing in the near future, okay, especially for those of you who are single. Tell me more about the Three of Cups. Now, I'm just going to put this out there because I've been seeing a lot of third parties in your readings lately, okay? I don't like to bring third parties up, but when they show up in the reading, I do have to mention them, okay? So for you in the near future, very important message. You have the Three of Cups here with the Knight of Wands. Someone here who's been putting you in third party situations, who's kind of been on and off with you is gonna come back in July, closer to the end of July, okay? And you need to maybe make a decision about this person when they decide to come back around. Tell me about the Three of Cups for Scorpio in the near future. So the Three of Cups is clarified by the Three of Wands, the Magician, and the Ten of Cups. Wow. This person, okay, who's coming back to you, when they finally see that you're moving on with your life and you're moving forward and you're moving maybe towards someone who's bringing you the stability that you see, because that's what you're realizing in the present moment, this person's going to want to have a long-term commitment with you, this person from your past. But one of the things that I want to mention to you, Scorpio, and I've been saying this for Aquarius as well too, so you can be sun, moon, or rising um, related to Aquarius. You may have left someone in the present moment, but it doesn't mean that you're not going to see them again, okay? There's still some sort of energy here of someone here coming back to you, okay? Now for others of you, this is about you celebrating in the near future happiness, okay? You're manifesting some sort of new energy here, and I see a celebration that's coming in, 
Okay. Tell me more about the Knight of Wands for Scorpio. Yeah, so here's the thing. This person who's been on and off with you, who's been putting you in third parties, they're going to come back. They're going to try to work things out with you, but you need to be careful, okay? Because the devil is here. This is someone here who still has toxic issues, okay? And every time they come towards you, they kind of pull you back into that and you need to be consciously aware, okay? Because you're open for love, right? You're open for business when it comes to love. You're like, yeah, bring it my way, which is nice, okay? So that's what I'm seeing for you. Let's get some advice. Okay, so your advice is the Six of Pentacles, the Eight of Cups, and the Ten of Cups. So your biggest uh, piece of advice, Scorpio, moving forward is to recognize when it's time to disconnect from something that is not emotionally fulfilling you. There's certain things in your life that are no longer fulfilling you anymore. Your main focus right now is finding happiness. And wherever that happiness is, you're being called to move towards it. Also, just keep in mind that even though you may be afraid to walk away from someone or something, as hard as it may be, the biggest piece of advice here is for you to recognize what is out of balance in your life because there's something here that's out of balance and it's leading to a lot of unhappiness. And your main focus and priority right now within yourself, what the cards are telling me is you want that emotional satisfaction. You want that happiness. You want that true happiness. So you need to recognize when it's time to disconnect why you're disconnecting and what are the benefits of disconnecting most importantly will this situation bring something in your life back into balance will it bring you more happiness and if it if it does then maybe it is time to consider whether or not it is time to disconnect from this okay so scorpio this is what i have for you i hope this reading helped thanks so much for tuning in and i'll see you on the next one bye